thank you guys so much for stopping by if this is your first time here please don't forget to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for you know stopping by here again and being a real MVP anyways guys um, today's video um, is just a chit chat video you know have a conversation with you guys let you know guys know how I'm feeling you know I've been planning to record for the longest time even though I felt like I didn't have anything to record I wanted to record a makeup look, but then I was like, mm -mm, please ignore my brush sticking out. But I'm just going to assume it's a style. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today's video, I'm just going to do a chit chat, you know, just for you guys and have a conversation and know how you guys are doing and how you're handling this whole stay home period and what you guys have been doing. So I don't know what the title of this video is yet, but I know definitely I'm going to be talking about this whole work from home thing, having coping, what I've been doing, and yeah. So if you guys want to know exactly what this girl is so excited to talk about, keep watching. Just have a conversation. Let's talk. So first things first, what have I been doing at home? I have been working from home Monday to Friday. It's one of the things I'm most grateful for that I still am working. I know that a lot of people have lost their jobs this period. And I'm so grateful for the fact that I'm still working. That is one of my biggest blessings for 2020. I know it's crazy to all my friends out there. And if you're watching this and you've lost your job along the way or something has happened, I'm rooting for you. I'm standing with you and you're going to get through this. Monday to Friday, it's crazy how you think that sometimes, oh, I'm just going to work from home and... It's gonna be so chill it's gonna be so interesting and exciting but believe me it's been different because um, I set up my workspace in my room so I basically just wake up at 7 50 7 50 and just start working I don't stop working until 3 55 and it's just that I already have a routine set up so it's Lunch, breakfast is about 10 and then lunch is about 2 so I have a routine but I really really can't wait to get back to work because I want my space to be my space I want to go back to being my space anyway that's me rambling about that so I've been working from home I've been ha taking my holidays and every time up I've planned and that's been fun I've actually enjoyed working from home because I've just had more time to do a lot of things that you know you just hope that you will do if you were working. I've been enjoying that. Yeah, so um, another thing I've been doing a lot is cooking. If you watch my last video, you'll see that I was cooking moi moi. Nigerians, you know, I was cooking moi moi. And um, I think cooking has been, this period, this cooking has been one of those things that um, has helped me. Helped in the sense that I am just cooking. I'm learning new things to cook. Um, trying new things and yeah it's been interesting to cook. I've cooked I think I probably cooked everything most Nigerian foods like this period I've cooked F Gusi F4 I've cooked everything and I've cooked and I've cooked and I've cooked and I'm still enjoying it because I actually love cooking and I'm still gonna be cooking. I want to do a vlog on Friday. I hope I can do it. I plan to make seafood boil. A friend of mine has a birthday and I'm planning to actually make that for the birthday so fingers crossed that i'm able to record that even though we're supposed to be staying at home and just you know enjoying the time to stay at home i've also been going out i've been going shopping to the grocery store of course i've been um seeing friends because i have um, i've been seeing friends because we can social distance away from afar that's still fun but yeah so that's been has me that grocery shopping you know I go to the dollar store a lot and just keep my eyes and do whatever I want to do there another thing that I've been doing is insistently shopping I have been shopping every other day if you look at my nails I actually bought my nails online I bought it on Etsy like I just discovered Etsy this period I never used to do Etsy 
it was my first time buying stuff on Etsy during this whole quarantine period. No shade, I love Etsy and I'm probably still gonna keep shopping. I've been buying a lot of makeup stuff and I think I have a couple of things I wanna show you guys just because of this video. So obviously you guys know that I love The Ordinary. I've been buying a lot of Ordinary like since you guys have known this channel. So this period has also given me a chance to actually shop Ordinary. And I one thing I haven't told you guys recently because I haven't done a makeup video in a while is that I switched my foundation to The Ordinary Foundation. I know that previously I used to use the NYX Can't Stop Don't Stop Foundation and it's something I've used on my channel a lot but I just switched to the um, Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation. It's a coverage foundation and I use the shade 3.2N. I started using this in November of last year when I went to Vancouver and it's really inexpensive and that's what I love about it because it's an everyday foundation for me. This foundation is about 7 Canadian dollars. Compared to NYX that I was so excited about, that was $18, this is $7. I'll buy two foundations from the NYX. That's what I'm currently wearing right now. I'm wearing the Ordinary Foundation. It's full coverage, lightweight. I wear it all day, all week to work. And so I just restocked on two more bottles of this. So this is one of the foundations I've never spoken about on my channel. Hopefully when I get around to doing a makeup video, I will actually show you guys how I use this. I love this foundation, full coverage. It's amazing. Another thing I decided to buy was Ordinary Primer. It comes in a white box, but for some reason I don't have that with me. So it's the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I'm also wearing this with this look just to try it. I decided to also buy the primer just to see how it works with the foundation. I've been using, before now, I've been using the Becca um, Primer, which is amazing. It's mattifying. Everybody loves that primer. So I just decided to try something different and it's working. Another thing I decided to buy recently was uh, an Anastasia eyeshadow and this is the Novena palette. I'm also wearing this on my eyes right now and I love it. Like um, before now I haven't, I haven't been buying a lot of Anastasia because I felt like their palettes before the whole Jackie I know vibe. I felt like their palettes were not, like their eyeshadows were not as pigmented as I would have loved my eyeshadows to be. And after trying that and seeing what all the Novena palettes are like, I decided to, you know, try Anastasia. And um, yeah, this is what the Novena looks like. I think this is plastic. And it comes, these are the colors in this palette. So I'm actually wearing this color right here and the blue is right under my eyes. I am obsessed about it. I'm wearing the whole palette on my eyes. The pinks and the reds are everywhere on my eyes. I love this palette. I bought it on the Sephora sale which I just bought one item because I wasn't going to splurge. Um, I bought it on the Sephora sale and I think it was like, I can't remember how much it was. Another thing I have bought this period is the Morphe 39S palette. I've been looking at this palette since forever and I decided to, you know, just and buy it. I mean, Morphe is not expensive, but I have a lot of Morphe eyeshadows and I just felt like I was going to be buying whatever I already had. But who would not fall in love with this palette? This palette is pinks, purples, and all shimmer shimmers. It has a lot of sparkly colors, which I love and I can't wait to try. I really, really love this palette. I think for now, that's what I can show you guys makeup-wise. I've been buying other things, of course, clothes. And I think I have one shoe or the other <laughs> to show for this period. But one thing I've learned during this period is that it's giving me a lot of time to actually connect with my friends, connect with people. I've tried to call people. I've tried to like be there for people. So um, it's been really exciting. Like even though it's been like sad around the world, this is not something we've, we've gone through before. I've been able to find a lot of positivity in this period and that is really a good vibe for me considering where I was in my previous videos. I've been able to take a lot of positivity like a lot of myself and I'm so grateful for the growth that I have experienced I know that it's gonna be the same going back to work I'm gonna you know keep the energy the positivity I'm gonna keep flying with it but I'm grateful for this period one thing I've learned is to be to always be grateful in 
wherever you are like whatever state of life you are and I can say that I'm actually grateful for this period because I've grown I have um, I have seen changes in myself and put in my goals I had a lot of goals for my second year in Canada if you have been following my channel for a while you'd know that I'm gonna be two years in Canada in a few days and I've had a lot of plans that I was gonna hoping fingers crossed praying to God that everything was gonna um, come to pass and this is um, a few days to two years and I can actually say by God's grace by God's um, wisdom and strength everything is actually going according to plan so I think this period has actually taught me a lot of positivity I've been able to channel my energy into like into a lot of things and um, yeah I, I, I thought I was gonna be able to record videos but for some reason it hasn't happened and but then it's always better late than never I was always having an excuse but then I'm gonna juice you guys a lot more in my next video I plan to record another video very soon and I have like just for you guys I know that you guys are seeing me positive and everything but I have just for you guys yeah it's been a roller coaster it's been it's been unbelievable because today is um May 19th or 20th and so this is about um, two months into staying at home and yeah I have um, I have I'm grateful for this time like everything going around the world going on around the world is not it's not happy it's not all positive but I'm still grateful I'm still happy that somehow we're able to keep our heads above water I think that I've learned in this period is to surround yourself with people that um i mean if you're not going to be there physically with people like you can reach out connect and send messages and all that good stuff like i can't tell you how much that has been like a difference to me um i'm definitely you guys have watched my videos like in the past i'm definitely not that person that i was a few weeks ago um almost there anyways guys I know that you guys are probably think I'm ranting you guys probably think that I have no head or no tail but I'm just so excited and I'm happy and I wanted to share with you guys and see how you guys are doing you can also like leave comments down below and tell me how you've got you've been coping um I was gonna do a vlog for a week and show you guys exactly what I was doing but it's boring because <laughs> I'm always working and I hang out with my friends and yeah it's boring but I have a, I have a TV in my room as soon as I'm done with work I just turn my TV watch a show or just watch a movie and just you know eat a lot of food I started when I when this whole thing first started I was doing a lot of walking and exercising but I know like I need to go back to work so I can't wait to actually go back to work but again this period I've I've really you know tried to build a lot on my on my energy on my spiritual self it's been a lot of like it's been a lot of growth and I'm so grateful for that so yeah I think I'm gonna end this video there if you guys want to share anything with me if you guys want to you know just drop a comment down below just let me know I want to hear from you guys I want to see what you guys have been doing and how you have been doing don't forget to like this video subscribe if you want to and um, I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys and see, and